This is Jeff Durbin from TalkTech with CTI.com. We're going to install and configure and run a program called CCleaner. So let's get started. Open up Internet Explorer. And we go up here to the address bar and we type in www.ccleaner.com. Hit enter. And here we are, ccleaner.com's website. CCleaner cleans up your temporary internet files and a bunch of the other temporary files that are scattered out across your system that, you know, they, they over time they can cause your system to run a little slower. Um, there's some really easy ways to um, run it, so let's go ahead and in, um, download it and get it installed so we can, you know, show you how to do it. And it comes to the download page where we go download from filehippo.com, which this is perfectly fine. And you can come over here and um, download the latest version. We're going to click on save. We're going to save it to our desktop. And we can go ahead and close the file help one. It's already started, so we, we can just wait for it to download. When it gets done downloading, then uh, we'll go ahead and run and install the, the program. Um, with uh, CCleaner, it cleans up but not only Internet Explorer's temporary internet files and history and cookies, but Opera and Firefox browsers as well. Go ahead and click Close. We're going to go up here and right click on it and click on Open. Click on Run. Select your language and then select OK. This is the welcome screen telling you that this is version 1.33. So now we can just click next to continue. This is the license agreement. You're supposed to review the terms and um, you know before you install the program. Um, it tells you about the Yahoo toolbar that it installs or um, by default. So uh, you can go through and, and this will tell you all the legal stuff about that. Click on I agree after you've read it. This is the default location. Just go ahead and leave it right where it's at. Click on Next. This is all the installation options. Um, if you wanted to put a desktop shortcut, you can put a desktop shortcut. This adds the Start Menu shortcuts, which is in the Start Menu, and then come up in here, and it's in there. And what we can also do is um, we can do a, an alternate way of opening it. it can, um, to give an option to the, your recycle bin to run the CCleaner or open CCleaner. Um, so if you right click on your recycle bin, it'll add this little option there so you can um, either run it or open it. It also um, gives you the option to do automatic check for um, updates for the CCleaner software. I always leave that checked. That way I've always got the newest version because he adds new stuff and he tweaks it and makes it better as time goes by. Um, to support the Yahoo or this uh, CCleaner program he uses the Yahoo toolbar. Um, if you install it from here um, it'll uh, it'll allow you to um, use the services of Yahoo um, at, your, at you know kind of a search button in your Internet Explorer. I'll go ahead and um, leave that for now. Click on install and it's installed it says it's completed. Click on finish so now we can run it. Well, I don't like all the, the clutter on my desktop, so I just go ahead and select these two things and drag them down here to the recycle bin and drop them off. And click on Start, and then I'll click on CCleaner, or you can come in here and go to CCleaner, CCleaner. If it isn't maximized, you can maximize it just by clicking the square box right there, and that'll take up the full screen. And this is the things that it's going to remove. Like I said before, it does Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Opera. I don't have um, Firefox or Opera installed on this particular system, but it would have the options to remove those temporary Internet files, cookies, the history, the recently typed URLs, which is, you know, when you go into your address bar and there's already the list of things that you've uh, typed in there. This gets rid of it, so if you don't want it to get rid of, you can go through here and select that. Same way the history. If you like having your history there, you can unselect it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the autocomplete forms, which is uh, when you're t 
typing into a uh, form on the website and it saves that option for you. Most people will want that to be unchecked. It also does the um, recent documents um, which is this thing right here which will show the most recently opened items um, from your computer. So we got all these different things and um, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to also select the old prefetch data. Um, Justin talked about this on um, TalkTech with CTI. So um, this is you know one of those things where it'll kind of help you speed up your computer. Let's go ahead and select Run Cleaner. It's going to tell you that it's going to delete these files permanently so if you don't want to do it, now's the time to stop. Just click Cancel. But are you sure you want to proceed? Is what they're asking. Let's go ahead and proceed. And it's done and this is how much it's removed. This even tells how long it took to remove doing all the cleaning. And this t tells you the details of everything that was deleted. Yours could be several hundred megabytes. It's very easy to um, to uh, accumulate that size of uh, files. So, Plus depending on how big your recycle bin is. But um, that's all it is. That's all it takes to uh, um, run the CCleaner application and I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Close it out and you're all done. Well, I was going to show you one more time um, when we installed CCleaner, it installed a toolbar and um, I'd already turned it off but Yahoo toolbar is this toolbar right here and um, if you don't like it there after you've installed it you can come up here to some some blank space and you right click and you can select okay I've got Google toolbar Windows Live toolbar I can turn them off or I can turn them back on so I got Windows Live toolbar um, I can go in here and turn on Google toolbar and then I can do the Yahoo toolbar you know quickly your screen gets you know cluttered up and to clean it all back up all we have to do is right click on it Windows Live toolbar is gone right click on it Google's gone right click on it and Yahoo's gone and now we're back to the way we were click on close and um, just like thank you for uh, listening to the and watching the tutorial if you want to see more come to www.talktechwithcti.com thank you